Hi, my name is Rachel Paxton, and today I'm going to show you how to make strawberry lemonade concentrate. In this class, I'll show you how to make and can strawberry lemonade concentrate. I'll lead you through the process step by step. I'll give you the recipe and the canning supply list that you can download and print out for future reference. You'll find these in your course materials. You'll also gain the confidence you need to try more canning recipes on your own. My name is Rachel Paxton. I'm a freelance writer and a mom of five children, ages 28 to 6. I have been canning for more than 20 years, and I'm also the owner of the website, creativehomemaking.com. This is a picture of me and my husband, Dave. We've been married for 20 years, and these are three of our kids. Zachary and Christian are 11. They're twins, and Trenton just turned 7. We also have a 28 and a 26-year-old daughter. Daughters. <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to need 7 cups of sliced strawberries, 5 cups of bottled lemon juice, and 7 cups of sugar. You'll also need a boiling water canner, a canning rack if you're using your own stock pot, a jar lifter, a wide mouth funnel, a candy thermometer, an immersion blender is optional, and 3 quart canning jars. This is what a boiling water canner looks like. If you don't already have one, You'll need to get one. You could also use a large stock pot if you don't want to buy a boiling water canner. You can purchase these on Amazon for about $30. You can get the whole kit that comes with the accessories too for just over $30. And there's a link to this in the supply list that you can download if you'd like to order one. You also can use a large stock pot as long as there's enough room in the pot to have an inch of water above your canning jars. If you're going to use your own stock pot, you also need to have a canning rack. This comes with the boiling water canner, but you can also buy them separately for about $10. You need to put this in the bottom of your pot so that your jars don't sit on the bottom of the pan because they can get too hot and break. This is what a jar lifter looks like. A wide mouth funnel sits in your jar nicely so you can pour things in your jars. First of all, you need to fill your canner about three quarters away full with water and heat it until boiling. You also want to sterilize your jars, rings, and lids in a dishwasher. You, if you don't have a dishwasher, you can sterilize them in boiling water in a large pan on the stove, but the dishwasher is easier if you have one and it will still jars will just sit there till you're ready to use them. You can reuse jars and rings when you're canning, but you cannot reuse lids. You're going to have to use a different lid every time that you can. For this recipe, you're going to need, all you need is sugar and lemon juice and sliced strawberries. So get those all measured and pour them in to your pot. Um, you do need to blend the strawberries for this recipe. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can put them in a blender and blend them and then put them in your stock pot. I like to use my immersion blender. It's a handheld blender that can go into your pan and blend it so you don't have to pour it out of the pan. Um, there's a link to this immersion blender on your pro uh, supply list. They're about $20. I use mine all the time for cooking and canning. You can blend right in your pan on the stove, but um, you can use your blender to blend the strawberries so or use the immersion blender and after you do that you want to stir in the sugar and the lemon juice and then you'll have a thinner liquid and you want to cook your strawberry mixture until it reaches 190 degrees on a candy thermometer there's also a link to that on your supply list if you don't already have one you also want to skim the foam that collects on top of the strawberry mixture with a metal spoon. Just spoon that off and put it into a bowl somewhere. You don't want to, the foam doesn't hurt anything if you do end up canning any of it, but it just tastes better if you don't have the foam. Then next you want to lab ladle your strawberry mixture into your sterilized jars, leaving a quarter inch headspace. The headspace is the amount of space between the top of your liquid and the top of the jar. It's important in canning to use the correct amount of headspace. When you process your food in the boiling water canner, the food will expand as it heats, and so 
You need to make sure there's enough room in the jar for your food to expand. Your recipe will tell you how much space you need for your head space. For this recipe, it's a quarter of an inch. Next, wipe the rim of the jar with a damp paper towel or dish towel. Let's make sure that your jars will get a good seal. Place your rings and the lids on the jars finger tight. Next, process your jars in the boiling water canner for 15 minutes. Make sure that you have an inch of water above your jars in the pan. If you get your jars in there and find you don't have enough water, just put some more water in the pan and don't start the timer until the water is boiling. If you live above a thousand feet in elevation, you're going to need to increase your processing time. There's a altitude adjustment chart included with these canning courses and you can also find them easily for free online. So make sure to check that chart if you're above a thousand feet in elevation. After the timer goes off, use a jar lifter or tongs to remove the jars from the canner. Set them on a towel on the kitchen counter to cool. When the jars seal, you'll hear a pinging noise. A lot of times your jars will seal in the canner. Sometimes it takes 15, 10 to 15 minutes for it to seal. You can tell if it's sealed or not by pushing your finger down in the middle of the lid. And if it goes down and up again, it is not sealed. But if the, if the lid is flat and doesn't move, then it is sealed. If it is not sealed, you can still use it. Just put it in the refrigerator and use it in the next week or two. But if it is sealed, you can store it in a dark, cool area for one to two years or more. To prepare this strawberry lemonade concentrate, you want to reconstitute it by adding an equal amount of water, ginger ale, or club soda to the strawberry concentrate, and it makes a delicious strawberry lemonade. This is great for parties and for family get-togethers or anytime you want to have something special and the fresh strawberries give it a really great flavor. So give it a try and see what you think. I hope you like it as much as we do. And I'll see you again next time.